Hey, my loves. How are you? Hope you're doing well. All right. So we are going to be tapping into my haters exposed deck to see what spirit wants you to know about your haters and what people are saying about you and how they are viewing you and what they want you to go through and etc. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and expose these motherfuckers, shall we? You can find this deck in my Etsy shop. The link is in my bio. <clears throat> Primero el café. All right. Let's see. Let's tap, tap, tap in. All right. This could be triggering. So warning, trigger warning. First card we have is they will play victim once they know they are losing. Okay. So once this person knows they're losing to you, they're going to start to play victim. They always do. Been there, done that, experienced that with other people. They will play victim so hard. At first, they, they, they love to be the villain, right? They love to be the bad bee. They love to be the one that's in, in power and control and everything. But as soon as they see that you one-up them on any type of fucking level. Oh my God, she's attacking me. He's attacking me. Wah, wah, wah. They said this word. Now they're triggering my past life. Or now they're triggering my, my upbringing or whatever. They're touching personal wounds. They start to play fucking victim. So it's like they want to sit there and expect you to take their whoop asses and for you not to stand up for yourself. Because the moment you stand up for, their self, for yourself, they start fucking bitching and crying. That's some sissy la la shit. Sissy want want shit. All right, let's see what else is coming through. Someone in your immediate circle is, is the one causing energetic chaos. So this could be a family member. This could be a co-worker. This could be somebody that you are you know hanging out with on a daily basis in your immediate circle that is the one causing this chaos they could also be a freaking um a love interest a spouse okay a family member or whatever like someone loves to play victim real fast they like to press your buttons but as soon as you, t you tell it like it is ooh, olvidate they, they throw themselves on the ground and go crazy right so this person in your energy field is someone that you're being guided to keep distance from, especially if it's family or a, or a, a love interest. Someone could be gaslighting you. Also, we have constantly comparing themselves to you. So for those that are dealing with the hater in the public eye, perhaps someone that you work with or someone that's online, a bully, um, this person is constantly projecting. When they compare themselves to you, or whatever they're projecting their insecurities okay they, they're always trying to constantly one-up you this is the type of person that says oh i don't give a f about that person blah 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 but yet they feel the need to keep tabs on you 24 fucking 7. let me see what they're wearing let's see what they're going on in their personal life let's see how i can one-up them like why do you care if you don't if you say you don't care because they're a low-key fan they're low-key fan fam this is a hater is looking to pick a fight with you <laughs> They're going to try to trigger you, pick a fight with you, try to say some shit online, trying to defame your name, whatever the fucking situation could be. Okay, this person is, they could, I'm also hearing they could be coming after your business or your following to try to say something negative about you. Literally trying to pick a fight. Maybe they mention you in one of their videos or stories or whatever, like the, try to purposely trigger you. They're trying to feed off your energy. It feels like this person has to talk about you. They have to talk about you because when they talk about themselves, nobody gives a fuck and nobody listens. <laughs> Sad. All right. It says they want to low-key be you. <laughs> you see? You see? They, they, they low-key admire you. They don't want to admit it, but this person admires you. And they can't stand it. They can't stand that they're attracted to your, your essence, your vibe, your energy your success, your beauty, your charms. Like this person is taking fucking notes, okay? They're taking notes. Let them take notes. Let them, right? Let them take notes. They don't know how to communicate in a healthy way. Yeah, you see? This is why they gaslight. This is why they act very narcissistic. Uh, they, don't know how to they don't know how to communicate with you in a healthy way or with others. So they're constantly trying to pick a fight, trigger, 
you know, start an argument. They say things very aggressively. They're very passive aggressive. So everything that comes out of their mouth is bad. Okay. So hopefully they don't stick a penis in their mouth. Anyways. All right. What else do we have here? It says they constantly convince people that they are this and that. They're the type that likes to be, that has to work overtime to convince people that they're a good person or to convince people that like they're a victim and they've been through so much and woe is me. Like, look at me. This is why I'm like this. And it's like, always constantly having to justify why they are with how they are what they do it's very emotionally draining and exhausting and people are like oh here they fucking go again and then they wonder why people pull away sad but true we wish them nothing but the best and healing in their own way they are mad because you are highly protected okay this person is pissed because they could have sent like energetic demons your way they could have sent some energetic hits to put you under spiritual attack and it didn't work they see that they try to wish bad on your your business your name your reputation your income you know your love life your personal your beauty whatever the case may be and it's it's only blessing you even more it's only making you even more abundant more healthy more vibrant bringing you more fucking income so it's like the more they curse you the more they're, the more they're blessing you so thank you thank you haters right okay so let's uh we're gonna get into the la vida loca oracle deck and this is by your spiritual home girl which is your spiritual hunk girl now her name is nix all right so a little bit of a little chola vibe all right so let's see what the cholas have to say let's see what we got long, long live the hoops right long live the hoops <laughs> gotta have our fucking hoops y'all gotta have our hoops all right here we go what do we got here we got cheese man you see they're they're gossiping they're gossiping about you your name stays in their fucking mouth you're pretty much like a big dangling that they like to just put in their mouth and choke on um yeah gossip tea scandal two-faced somebody could be two-faced they could be dealing with you could be dealing with the gemini uh yeah these motherfuckers stay talking about you. Did you see what so-and-so posted? Did you see her hair, her, her her new hair? Did you see he's working out and growing gangs now? Like, especially if you're a male watching, you got dudes on your shit. Um, yeah, other dudes could be scoping you out. If you're a masculine watching, there's dudes that are hating on you too, especially at work. That's why they're always constantly trying to like, make sure you fuck up or put you off your A-game at work so you're not concentrating because these are some hating ass motherfuckers. All right, so if you're a female, you already know the drill, the gist. Okay, we have high horse. These motherfuckers are on their high horse. They're so, like, on their high horse. They're so entitled. Like, the world revolves around them. And if if anybody says anything, God forbid, positive about you and not about them, oh, Lord, they have a whole list of things that they would love to say negatively about you. Yeah, high pride, ego, vanity, and uh, criticism. Man, these cards are coming through. I'm telling you, yo, I'm telling you. They stay talking shit because they feel like they're entitled. They feel like they're up here and you're down here. Or maybe this person's gaslighting themselves. It can be one person. It could be a group of motherfuckers. They're gaslighting themselves. Ain't that some sad shit? All right, we're going to get into the Harley Spencer Tarot deck. The creator of the Badass Tarot. So let's uh, get some ending messages. I think we're good on time. Got a few more minutes. If you want to book a personal, you can find that information in my bio. Click the link. We got judgment reversed. And we have the five of wands. You can't even make this shit up. Someone is talking false about you, trying to give illusions about you to other people. And the people that fall for their shit are stupid. Because there are always two sides to the story, right? So... Uh, again, like this person is trying to trigger you big time, trying to start a fight, trying to get you off your A game. And the more they see that you're not affected by it and you're not like feeding into it, the more they get pissed off. I'm hearing the Mariah song obsessed, like I'm not going to feed you. I'm going to let you starve. All right. So that is what's coming through. I hope you guys enjoy and namaste. Bye.